Always remember to put on your PPE before mixing or using any Devere chemicals. Always make sure to go to your posted instructions for floors, toilet bowls and urinals, and spray bottles. To fill the mop bucket, hold the gallon jug so pump spigot is over mop bucket. Push pump all the way down to cap on the gallon jug and release six times, two pumps per gallon of water. Fill the mop bucket with cold water to the base of the ringer. This effectively gives you three gallons of water. Take the gallon jug with the pump that has the restrictor clip on it and place it on a stable surface. Then, while holding the neck of the spray bottle, place the opening up to the pump spigot. Push the pump down to the restrictor clip and release once. Slowly fill the spray bottle with cold water to the indicator ring on the neck of the bottle and attach sprayer. It is important to follow these instructions as the amount of chemical and water used is critical to how well the product works. Cleaning chemicals have surfactants in them. As shown in the diagram, surfactants have molecules that attach to fats and oils and water. This lets them pull the fats and oils off of a surface and into the water. Use too much water and you don't have enough chemical or molecules to remove the fats and oils. Use too much chemical and you'll have too many molecules in the water. This is how you get smearing and sticky surfaces as the surfactant dries. When dealing with chemicals, it is always important to know where your safety data sheets are. These are documents that show what is in your chemicals and what to do in certain situations. The safety data sheets have 16 sections. Here are some that are good to reference. Section 2, Hazardous Identification. Section 4, First Aid Measures. Section 8, Exposure Controls and Personal Protection. Make sure to put out the wet floor sign. Make sure floor is clear of all debris. After dipping your mop in the cleaning solution, start on one side of the room and work your way to the other. Make sure to get around the toilet and underneath the urinal. Remember to rinse and wring out your mop often so you do not spread the dirt around that you have picked up. Let the floor air dry and assess your cleaning solution to make sure it is not too soiled. If it is, dump it out and make a new solution before moving on. Make sure to leave the wet floor sign in front of the door to let customers know the floor could still be a slip risk. Spray cleaning solution on surfaces. Make sure to use new towels on each new surface. Wipe off soils, but be sure to leave surface damp to air dry. Pour Devere bowl cleaner into toilet bowl. Using scrubber, spread cleaner over entire area especially under the flush ring. Flush when done. Repeat for urinals. Thank you for watching this Devere Chemical production.